Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving an interesting problem. That is, you have to design a BST iterator. Now, what is what is this uh, designing BST iterator? So you'll be given uh, some steps, and you have to perform that. Now, the first step, the first step will be definitely that you'll be given a BST iterator with the root. So this seven will be basically a node which will be containing a seven. So that represents that you have a root with the entire BST. So at the first step, you'll be given, okay, you're given a root of the tree, that is the binary search tree. So that's the first step. So you're done with the first step. Next, you will be asked, hey, what is next? Now let me explain you uh, the stuffs. So there'll be a couple of stuffs. One is next, the other one is has next. So let me explain you first, what does this signifies then I be, I can move uh, forward. Now, if you write the in order traversal, yes, if you write the in order traversal, that's, uh, that, that will be 3, 7, 9, 15, 20 for this particular BST. For this particular BST, the in order traversal will be this. So whenever I say next, so initially the pointer will be pointing to a null, like it is pointing to a non-existent value. The moment I say next, you should be returning 3, okay? Next, when I say next, you should be returning 7. Whenever I say next 9, next 15, next 20, and whenever I say has next, assume you are standing at 20, assume you were standing at 20, and if I ask has next, has next, then you will say no, no, no next. Got it? Next means initially you are starting with a non-existent, next will be the in-orders guy, next the next in-orders guy, next the next in-orders guy. Okay, so for an example, if I explain you, you're given this a particular binary search tree with the root 7. The first, the moment they say next, it will be 3 because that is the first next. Again, whenever they say next, it will definitely be 7. Whenever they say has next, so you're currently standing at 7. Does it have any other next? Yes, it does have. So true. The, again, you say next. So you'll be like, yes, the next is 9 has next yes true again you're saying next so that will be 15 does it have next yes what's the next 20 has next false because it does not have any next after 20 that thereby has next will be false so this is what you have to design a class of functions such that this particular functions are operated Okay, so how do you how do you operate these particular functions? Any idea, any sort of idea? Now, the first thing that comes to your mind is, okay, Striver, whenever you're given BST iterator, uh, why don't we keep a vector? I think, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we will keep a vector where we will be storing uh, the in-order traversal. Okay, so we're going to store all the in-order traversal. And we're going to initially have the pointer over here. Whenever someone says next, I'm going to just return it and then move the pointer ahead. Whenever someone again says next, I'm going to return it and move the pointer ahead. Has next, is this pointer pointing to a value? If it is, yes or else false. So I can store the in order and then next has, net becomes, has next becomes very easy. But what is the time complexity? It will be big O of a 1 in order to return the next as well as has next. But the space complexity will be big O of n because you'll be storing the entire in order traversal. I repeat, because you'll be storing the entire in order traversal, the space complexity taken will be big O of n. It looks a very straightforward one. Like if you are allowed to store the in order, it looks a very straightforward one. But the moment I say no, you're not allowed to store the in order one, then there is a problem. Then there lies the problem. Now, if you remember well, if you remember well, uh, what is in order? In order was left, then node, then right. That is what you always did. Like you went into the extreme left and the, the moment you reach null, then the first node will be your in orders, like in order traversals first guy. Then right after this, you moved on to its right and then to left. That is what you kept on doing. Rights, again you started going on left. So can I borrow the logic from that stuff that in in recursion or in the in order traversal 
it was left node and then right so basically you went to left first node okay after that right and then left so you're gonna borrow that logic and you're gonna do the same thing because they have asked us to solve this problem in bigo of h space where h is the height of the tree and they've said as key next and has next can be easily done in bigo of like one on average one on average uh, sometimes it might take up more than one but yeah, on an average you have to take bigo of one so throughout it will be if you add up all of them it should be bigo of one so the time complexity has to be this and the space complexity has to be this you have to design an algorithm okay so it's time that we think of an algorithm so let's come up with an algorithm so remember in order to design this algorithm you have to write a constructor now the constructor will be given the bst iterator and that will be initially the root which is as of now seven so whenever that's given to you what you will do is you will take a stack data structure yes you're going to take a stack data structure what is a stack data structure it is last in first out if you remember well last in first out the guy who gets in last comes out first so you're going to use a stack data structure now whenever a bst iterator of seven is given you have to remember you have to remember one thing that it is left node and right so every time you go to extreme left okay so if you're given seven if you're given seven in the constructor what you will do is you will take seven and you'll go to the extreme yes i repeat you will go to the extreme left and put everything into the stack so let's do that so seven is what i put what are sevens left three what's threes left two what two is left one you take up all the elements of seven sevens left and put it into the stack that is what you will always do perfect next there was assume there is a next the moment someone says next that means in orders first element as of now because this is the first time next is being called so what you will do is you will say okay who is stacks first element take it up that will be my next but wait what was in order whenever you take out note you go to its right you go to its right but as of now right of one is nothing right of one is nothing so you don't take anything perfect next again a next is called this time stack has two so you take out two does two have a right no so there is no right traversal as of now amazing next again next is called this time you take out three here comes the twist the moment you take out three three is taken out three has a right so you go to right and you put everything into the stack you go to right and you put everything into the stack so again the same way six five four because right will be called that's six and again the same procedure of left 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 six five four will be inserted so if you observe it carefully you're actually following the in order using this particular stack so it's an iterative in order that you are currently doing just making sure that you only store the h the height height order elements perfect next if someone comes up and says hey do you have an has next do you have next that's very easy to answer if your stack if your stack is non empty which in this case stack has multiple elements so be like hey dude listen i still have elements so that's going to be true so the stack is empty that that becomes very simple you say true next time whenever a call like next comes again very straightforward you pick up four and you give it does four have a right i don't see four having a right i definitely don't see four having a right so no right next you pick up five does five have a right no next you pick up six does six have a right no next you pick up seven but does seven have a right yes insert all of them 10 9 8 inserted go to right go to right and insert all the left go to right and insert all the left so if there is a right the, like seven has a right so take all of these guys and insert into the stack that is what you will do because that's very obvious left node then right whenever you go to the right then again left 
left left left that logic is being used perfect next called so eight you got next called nine you got and remember none of them none of them have rights so again next called 10 now this is the moment the stack becomes empty and if someone calls has next you can say false yes you can say false and that's how you can easily design this particular data structure so if i talk about the time complexity uh, i can say that uh, space complexity is definitely big of h that is the height of the tree because i'm just storing left 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 at, at any instance i'm not storing a lot of elements and the time complexity will be big o of one on average not on every call because you're pushing left 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 but sometimes you're not pushing a lot of times you're not pushing so if you average it out there are n elements there are n elements so you will be pushing on n elements correct you will be pushing on n elements in total and there might be n next calls there might be n next calls so n by n on average is big o of 1 because if you are pushing n elements throughout pure in across all you are pushing n elements and there are n next calls so on average per single call it will be big of fun that that is that is the reason i can easily say the time complexity on average is big of fun and the space complexity is big of h so that is how uh, you can easily design this bst iterator so it's time to discuss the c++ as well as the java code the c++ code as usual is on the left and the java code is on the right both are extremely identical so i'll just be discussing the c++ you can follow the java code on the right so what i what i've done is initially i have declared a stack you can just declare it private so that it's a member function so you can just declare it uh, private yeah and so i've declared a stack of tree notes because i have to store all the tree notes in a stack and uh, this is the constructor now whenever you're given root so if you remember when i was given the root what did i do i took the root and every left <laughs> into the stack remember so i call the push all now push all's duty push all's duty is to take all the lefts and push it onto the stack stack push and all the lefts push all means i'll give him a node and i'll push all the lefts into the stack that is what push all's duty is so he does that whenever you're given the constructor next has next how's the has next function written it's very simple if the stack is non empty you say i i do have elements simple as that if the stack is empty i don't have elements as simple as that right next one is something which is the stuff i want the next guy of in order like the pointer is pointing to so what i do is i know the stack dot top element is the next guy that's for sure we discussed right because if you're going left 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 the last guy is the smallest element so i just pick it up top and then you pop it off the stack now if you remember if there does exist a right you go to the right and push all the left remember you go to the right and you push all the left so you go to the right and push all does your that job pushing all the left so push all will push all the left and once you've done this you just needed the value so the temp node that you have taken out over here you can just return it as simple as that uh, this is how the c++ code will look like and similarly uh, is how the java code will also look alike so guys i hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the c++ and the java solution so just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video and if you are new to this channel do consider subscribing and yeah with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in the next one bye bye take care